Here I have written those classes of functions in the increasing order of their weightage. This means that n is always less than n log n and that is always less than n square or log n is always less than root n as well as n as well as so it's less than all of them. So n power 3 then goes on n power 4, 5 or up to 100 also that is less than 2 power n and 2 power n is less than 3 power n. So that's how they are written in the increasing order of their weightage. Now to prove that I will take few terms from this one, few type classes from this one. Let us say log n, n, n square 2 power n. Let us try this. If I take n value as 1, log 1 will be 0 and this will be 1 and this will be 2. 2 power 1 is 2. If I take this as 2, then log 2 base 2 is 1, this is 1 and this is 4 and this is also 4. If I take n value as 8, then this is 3 and If I take n value as 4, then this will be 16 and 2 power 4 is also 16 and this is 2. If I take n value as 8, this will be 3 and this will be 64 and this is 2 power 8, that is 256. So you can see that there is a sudden change. See, I have taken 8 here, so there is a slower growth and there is a very faster growth in the value. So that is 2 power n. And you can see that now if you go on putting the values, this is less than this one and this is less than this one, this is less than this one. But if you observe this, up to here, up to here, these two values were equal. And here also these two well values were equal. Right? And this time it was greater. Right? Again it is greater. So sometime it was less or greater or equal, whatever it may be. But from this point onwards, we can guarantee that. 2 power n will be moving with a faster speed. Right? So, if I take 9 here, then some log of 9, maybe I may be getting 3.1 something, but here 81, and this will be 5 to 12. 2 power 9 is 5 to 12. Right? So, around 20 values, around 16 or 15 is added here, so that much increase. But that there, you can see that there's a bigger change in the value. It's a double again. Alright. So always 2 power n is greater and above that is greater than that is 3 power n and the highest is 2 power n power n. So from this we can say that for some values of n, this is smaller than this one or this is greater than this one. So they are arranged in the order. Alright. So even if you have n power 100, that is also less than 2 power you write anything to the power of n, power k. k can be anything, the value that you can imagine, you can write on that and that is going to be less than 2 power n. How come? See, n means don't assume the values of n very small, that is starting from 1 or 2 or 10. Usually n means we imagine it as 10 or 5 like that. No, n can be any number. So n can be 0 to infinity, right? So for larger values of n, at some point, n power 100 will be smaller than 2 power n. And from that point onwards, 2 power n will be always greater. So there may be some starting value of n for which that will be greater. Put it on the graph for n. Suppose this is log n. This line is showing n and this line is showing n square. So this is log n and this is n. This is showing n square and this is showing n cube. Then this will show 2 power n. This represents 2 power n. So initially the value of 2 power n may be smaller then suddenly it will have a higher rate of increase. Right? So this is not for same x and y values. So just n values I have written and I have drawn some lines here. Alright? So representing this is smaller than this one so this is smaller than this so this is greater than this this is greater. So like that 2 power n is greater. So initially it may be smaller for some values of n, then suddenly it may increase. So 
this inequality is very very important this is very important the arrangement the order in which they are arranged that is very important 